In this video, I will show you four cool haircuts using the Big Step technique. This haircut has a short top zone, long bangs and medium length hair in the back. Step 1. I make control points right away. Point number 1. Length 19 cm or 7 inches. Point number 2. Length 16 cm or 6 inches. Point number 3. Length at the bottom. Connect point 1 and 3. This is the length of the temple. The next step. Cut strand by strand from the back of the hair. Making symmetry of the two sides. It's easy. Connect the occipital area with banks. Connect the banks area with a strand behind the ear. And cut it with a straight cut. Do the same on the other side. Next step is to cut the peritoneal area. We have two points, top zone and banks. They need to be connected. How to do it? This is the top zone and these are the banks. We take the hair along the central parting and direct the hair of the banks area to the hair in the top zone. At this angle they converge. We cut it. Well done! Repeat with other hair. We work first on one side. Here you can clearly see the control layer. Here it is. We cut the hair at it level.
a very important point. Not all of the hair on the side lift up. I leave a width of two fingers and do not lift this hair up. Do the same on the other side. The next step. We cut the hair in the upper occipital zone. We separate the area at the back of the head like this. Here it is. All of this hair has to be cut at the level of the top zone, where we have a control strand, like this. One, two, and three. The haircut is ready. Pointing its milling with straight scissors. Pointing should be done on all hair. A very important point, if I put all the hair up, I see an uneven line like this. This is not a mistake. It should be. This strand keeps us the integrity of the cut line near the ear. In the top zone, we also do pointing. Almost everything. Let's do some styling and I will show you. I cut hair when it's wet because it's more convenient at that length. I cut hair with my favorite scissors with micro serrations and a comb with markings. My big step technique is based on precise control points. First step. The first control point is on the banks. 
I cut the hair in free fall. The second control point is in the top area. The third control point is the length of the hair in the lower occipital area. Next step, I cut the hair from the center to the right and then from the center to the left. I create symmetry between both sides. Next step, this is how I shape the bangs. I separate the bangs by creating a triangle shape that aligns with the iris of the eye. Next, I divide it into two sections. I direct the first section in the opposite direction and cut it at the level of the first control point. Next step, contouring in the temple area. We connect the two control points.
Next step, the top area. We connect the two points. It is very important to leave a portion of the hair in the temple area and not cut it. Next step, I leave a section of hair and cut the rest in the top area. I do texturizing by holding the hair parallel to the strands. I don't cut the ends. These hairs cannot be cut.
I'm styling the hair. Wow, we have achieved such a beautiful result! I will show a haircut with a side swept bank, the length of the hair at the back. This is the first point. The next step is the length of the hair on the crown. Side swept bangs. We divide the hair along a diagonal pattern and measure the shortest section of the bangs. The length of the bangs is based on personal preference. The bangs can cover the eyebrow, B eyebrow length, or above the eyebrow. I will choose the first option. The hair should be in free fall at this place. This is the shortest part of the banks. We have created three reference points and now we will connect them. We will cut from the center toward the right and the left at the level of the first reference point using the point cutting technique behind the section. We have cut one side and now we are creating symmetry. The next step. We have a guiding section in the top area. And we already have the length at the bottom. We divide the hair into sections.
we don't lift or cut the lower hair upwards. In the area around the ear, always leave a layer to avoid a gap in the outline. We will cut this hair strand and the level of the second reference point. In this area we achieve a graduation. I'm moving down to the lower layers and see a triangle shape like this. You can choose to keep or remove this triangle shape. If we keep it, we will have solid layers at the bottom. You will have a haircut like this. If you want this haircut, then you will need to remove the top of the triangle. To do that, locate the triangle and cut the top using the point cutting technique. The next step. We already have a reference point. We extend it and move vertically. We connect the banks with the temple area. The outline of the banks should be made more sparse. That's how the banks turn out. We do the same on the other side as well. We connect this point with that one. The next step is to connect the banks with the top area. 
The most important thing to remember is that we are working in the area of the diagonal pattern. If we previously cut along the central pattern, now we will cut along the diagonal pattern. The diagonal pattern serves as our guide. We comb the hair along the diagonal pattern. We have two reference points, the top area and the banks. We connect these points. We do point cutting. We lift all the hair to that section and cut it at its level. We don't lift the hair for the outline. We do the same on the other side as well. We work in the area of the diagonal pattern. From this side, the longest part of the banks serves as a guide. We cut all the hair between these points. Straighten towards the diagonal pattern area. We only lift the hair from the crown area. We divide this layer into two parts. And we direct the hair from this area towards this layer. That's how it should be. We don't leave the hair from the area around the ear. It does need some finishing touch.
we achieved such beauty. I will show the second haircut with side swap bang. Separate the strand behind the ear. And connect that point to this one. We are not touching this hair. After that, you have to do the pointing. I hope the video is useful for you. Subscribe to the channel, just click on the bell, and I will make a video for you on this channel and show you all the subtleties of a master and teacher of the beauty industry. Bye bye, everyone. Yeva Lorman was with you. See you in more new videos. Hey, people, get together, like it, and subscribe. I will be with you forever. Feel the beauty vibe. Have to cut and have to die. Hairdresser, yo, it's mine. Don't forget to press the bell, you will love it.